Hello, Library 101 students. I'm your instructor this semester, Professor Ellen Carey. And this video will provide you with a brief introduction to our course and some tips for success. I do live on a busy street, so I apologize in advance if you hear any traffic noise. And if you hear or see a cat in the background, that's Moby. So Library 101 provides an introduction to information literacy. Being information literate includes understanding key concepts about information and misinformation, as well as being able to find, evaluate, use, and create information effectively and ethically. Uh, developing and improving your information literacy is an ongoing process, and it has to do with both learning research skills and learning to think more critically about how information and misinformation are produced, valued, organized and shared or suppressed. You've probably noticed a lot of debate lately about what information is accurate and what sources are trustworthy or not, which makes this an especially interesting and important time to learn about and um, uh, learn about the nature of information creation and sharing and, and uh, to develop your information literacy skills. Whether or not you've done research projects before, this course will help you to develop and improve your skills as a researcher, as well as thinking critically in these ways. I want you all to succeed in this class. So I'm gonna say that again. I want you all to succeed in this class and I have confidence that you can, and I'm committed to helping you to get the support you need to do so. Library 101 is a pass, no pass class. You must earn a total of 350 out of 500 possible points in order to pass the class. The course is set up to help you learn from mistakes and try again. So quizzes are untimed and you can take each quiz up, at up to two times and Canvas will automatically give you the higher score. Many of the research assignments allow you to make revisions to earn more points. And if you keep up with the course content, complete your assignments, and use my feedback to improve your work, you will pass the class. This is an eight-week class, so even though it's one credit, it may feel more like two because we move at a fast pace. And um, I do want to emphasize that our coursework requires spending about six hours and 45 minutes every week on the class. Some students spend more time than that. Some students spend less. Some weeks, like this first week, may require a bit more time, while others have a lighter workload. I have high expectations. Um, I'll be upfront about that. I have high expectations regarding your work in this class. And I'm also confident that you will succeed if you commit yourself to doing your work thoroughly, asking for help when you need it, and revising the assignments when I give you the opportunity to do so. You'll also learn a lot of useful skills that will help you in future research assignments um, and with finding and using information effectively in all areas of your life. So there are several ways you can get help. You can get help from any librarian at SBCC. It doesn't have to be me during um, any of the library's open hours, which are available on the website. Right now, at the beginning of the semester, that help is available through online chat only. We will be reopening the physical space of the library on October 1st, so then you'll also be able to get help face-to-face um, -face from any of the librarians, including me, um, as well as the chat will, service will continue then as well. You can get help with writing through the Writing Center in the Learning Resources Center. Um, I believe they're, they're also doing um, online writing tutor appointments. There are links in um, the first, uh, the, the Start Here module in our class. There's a link to the Writing Center. You can also just uh, find it on the SBCC website. And of course, you can ask me for help directly. The best way to contact me is by email or Canvas message. I um, almost always can respond to emails within 24 hours, Monday through Friday, but I can't guarantee that I'll get back to you on the weekend. So um, if you have a 
question about an assignment that's due over the weekend. We have some assignments due Saturday. Just plan ahead and make sure that you contact me um, before the, the um, as early as possible, but definitely before the end of business hours on Friday. If you're struggling with this course in any way, let me know right away um, so I can help. I'm happy to work with you individually, but it's your responsibility to let me know when you need help. So good luck, have fun. You can probably hear the cat running around. Um, happy researching. And remember, I'm here to help you succeed. So ask for help whenever you need it.